TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me is a warning screen. Please read it and adhere to what's going on over here. YouTube, check it out. If you review it, I'm here. This is all I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to catch a live or watch any previous lives, go to twitch.com. Type in that username, the first one at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget, we do got merch and we got a Patreon. You get me? Uh, the link to all of that is down there in the description, man. Let's get into this. This is the truth about UK homelessness. It's not just about money and housing. What is it about? This is from Roblox. Roblox. Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. So if I wasn't prepared, to, <laughs> it went past quick this time. Let's get into it. Is that a military vessel? What is this? This lady just went crazy on this rap. You ain't gonna buy the piece, you gonna... This what you did to it? <laughs> All, right. All right, let me focus, man. We didn't come here for that. This is a serious video. Homeless people in the UK are collectively referred to as rough sleepers. And according to unofficial estimates, there are over 300,000 people in this category. Oh. This is double the number five years ago. These individuals are not refugees or immigrants from Africa or Asia. They are citizens of the United Kingdom itself. Homeless people here are not just adults or middle-aged men. Is this the same narrator from, um, from the Netflix show uh, Wildlife or In the Wild? It's a great narrator in voice. Recently, there's been a significant increase in the proportion of women and those aged between 16 and 24. They are young, strong, and generally in good physical condition. Yet, they still wander and okay. sleep on the streets. We'll do that Discord next. Tents look strangely out of place in the commercial areas of... If you're ever in Miami, and you go down 7th, 7th and 7th Street, 7th and 2nd on the corner of 7th and 2nd, you look down 2nd Street, bunch of tents. I'm like, there's a little village of tents. Cities, set among the offices and shops with cars and people passing by. These tents are, however, the only shelter these people have. Most of those sleeping rough don't even have a tent in which to shelter. Instead, they lurk in various public spaces in the city, like sidewalks, parks, bus stops, under bridges, and at the corners of buildings. Homeless people come from various backgrounds and circumstances, yet they've all found themselves on the street. Many rely on welfare and charity, while others find intermittent work. Some survive by begging. The distinction between the homeless and beggars is not always clear. Some homeless people have jobs, but sleep on the streets due to insufficient income to pay for accommodation. Conversely, some beggars have homes, while others find themselves both begging and homeless. Some beggars choose this path as an easier way to earn money finding it faster and more convenient than working. Some beg because they don't have a job, like this girl. Her lack of paid work stems from health issues, particularly problems with her leg, which hinders her ability to secure steady employment. 
I've got um, the emphysema. They think, well, I've got to have six weeks of breathing test. I got scoliosis, clip off the syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis in my knees and my spine. They think that I'm going to be in a wheelchair by the time I'm 40. So I'd rather um, get 12 pints a week, it's cheaper. So that's what I might hear to him. All right, so, yeah. so you sitting here yeah. hoping that you get 12 pounds a day in order Fed. to... Yeah, yeah, I get food so I can take home and then I need things like, I need things like um, underwear. Um, smellies, obviously, because I haven't got anything, you know, I haven't got any clothes, just what I'm wearing. Um, and so I'm trying to get many to get all of that stuff as well. I got a question. Are there no, like, work from home jobs in the UK? Or are they all taken? Or is it harder to get them? I know it's hard to get regular jobs, but... Like... The sight of homeless people leaning against the wall of a shop or curled up on the sidewalk raises questions. How did they end up here and how can they be helped? It is clear that there's no single cause of homelessness. But we got a whole mattress out here? How he do that? It is partially the result of economics, families, social structure and the problems faced by the individuals. I was homeless when I was 18. Why? Um, um, so I came to Cardiff from Northwest England when I was 17 to live with my mum um, and things didn't work out. On my 18th birthday, my mum was in a violent relationship with my stepdad and basically rather than chucking my stepdad out, she chucked me out. Um, so I ended up being homeless on the streets. Well, basically, I got made homeless when I was. That's the that's the craziest origin story. Like, like it's a common one though. Oh, my parents, my mom picked her abusive boyfriend over me. That's a bit low. That's wild. But you got to think about it, man. There's the manipulation, mental factor going on in your mom's head that you can't even control at that point. It's eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah being homeless on the streets. Well, basically, I got made homeless when I was 18. 18? Yeah. Um, me and my mum were basically. She kicked me out. Um, I had nowhere else to go. Um, went to the Huggard. They gave me floor space. Um, and I've just been sleeping rough since. Let me tell you something. As an 18-year-old, when you reach the age of 18 and your parent tries to kick you out, say no. Say no. <laughs> Just say no. I'm not going. I'm not leaving. Call the police. <laughs> hey, me personally, that had never happened to me, but in America at least, call the police. Yeah, she trying to kick me out and I live here. Who is this? Your mom? Yep. I live here. I don't, where, do I, where am I supposed to go? Ma'am, he does live here. He's been here 18 years. He gets mail here. You have to evict him. You got to go through the court system. Simple. Buy me a little time and then I go out. Now, now, yes, it will not be a peaceful existence between you and your parents, but you will not be homeless. 100%. Having health problems or issues with family members doesn't necessarily result in homelessness, though. The underlying reasons are often insufficient income or the lack of a supportive family that accepts and cares for them. Individual backgrounds and personalities can, of course, play a big part. And uh, I feel free when I'm homeless. I don't have any, uh, you know, when I, when I cut off my family and I, I left that flat, it was like a, I cut a weight off and I'm free. It's nice to sometimes just pick up my stuff and go anywhere I want, you know? No burdens, no, you know, just, just me and that's it. Most of the homeless people we encounter are men, as living rough poses a greater risk for women. Nonetheless, the it's number of homeless happens. women is on the rise. Another factor preventing escape from living on the streets is drug addiction. I, well, I was fun. on drugs. I'm on a methadone script now, so I'm coming off that. Off the drugs, I'm off the drugs now. So you clean now? Yeah, yeah, I'm on the methadone and hope. Methadone, I, okay, like technically, yes, you're clean, but like... Can't you become addicted to methadone as well? Just as bad as, you know what I'm saying? Just as bad as you was on the other stuff? 
correctly, but it's not holding me, so I'm not very well at the moment. Um, I'm only on 30 mils, which is nothing, you know, to, to what I was smoking. Um, to, to 30 mils, it's nothing, you know, but I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, and they're going to induce it, I think, so hopefully, because I don't want to go back to using, you know. See what I'm saying? Her pink sleeping bag and personal belongings were packed into a black bag before she left to find a good place to beg. If she can collect enough today to pay the rent, the sleeping bag won't be needed tonight. When she's out of sight, no one knows if she is still abusing drugs. So she just left the sleeping bag? The cabinet is full of new syringes in sterile packets, while the yellow bin contains the used ones. The cycle of drug addiction and hard to find money needed to support the habit is how many people end up stranded on the streets, which in turn makes it difficult for them to get off drugs. The Huggard Center is a homeless shelter run by an NGO. It provides clean needles for homeless people who use drugs. While this doesn't do much to stop drug abuse, at least clean needles can reduce other health problems which come from using a dirty needle. I think one of the important things is that we're trying to meet people where they are at the moment. And pretending people are not using drugs and not providing them with needles just means that they're going to put themselves in danger. And if they're putting themselves in danger, we're not looking after their welfare. So we're very much trying to meet people where they are. I, I understand where they're coming from with like, with this part, but like, at a certain at a certain extent, it feels very enabling. They are at the moment, and and not. Like I'm sure you're trying to convince them as well. Oh, maybe you should take this methadone or go see some counseling. But they just really there for the free, clean stuff, you know. Suggesting they they can suddenly give up, um, you know, using substances. Even with free clean needles drugs cannot be taken in the centre. There are many who take the view that this may actually encourage homeless people to continue using drugs, but the provision of clean needles has long been an accepted practice in many European countries, probably because it has been shown to significantly reduce the number of drug-related deaths and infections while easing the burden on state-provided health infrastructure. It's sometimes difficult because when people are, are, are come to need exchange, very often it's because they want to use drugs at that moment. Um, but obviously, as we get to know people and build up trust, um, we can actually help them further. So, for example, we've we've had, um, I think it was something like 90 people, um, you know, last year who we got into rehabilitation programmes. So that's getting clean of drugs. Now we wouldn't have been able to do that if we hadn't met them where they are now, mm. rather than. Um, expecting them to, to be abstaining. In addition to the clean needle service, there's also an emergency room for use during the cold British autumn and winter, when outside temperatures can fall below zero for several days at a time. So this is our emergency overnight stay accommodation. Right. So if we're not able to put people in hostel, which is most of the time because it's always full, um, rather than having people out on the streets, people can come in here um, and it'll be safe and warm. We'll have staff here all the way through the night. We'll provide breakfast for people. Um, and we have what we call the pods here. Okay. The space is divided into small cubicles with just enough space to put a bed. The room's doorway has gaps at the top and bottom, so the supervisors can easily check on the well-being of the occupants. Inside the room, there are personal belongings and a winter coat hangs in the corner. Some rooms have towels and clothes draped over the door. There are a total of 20 bedrooms like this here, but there are not enough for the number of homeless people across England. I guess this is kind of helpful, but this is crazy. This is like a, like a fitting room of beds. And tens of thousands of homeless people are on waiting lists for shelters because public, private and emergency shelters have been full for the last decade, while budget constraints hinder the building of new ones. And why can't you build more? Um, well, it's just we haven't got the finances for it. Um, we, do get, we do get funding for everyone. Homeless men and women dwell in a small hall, 
where men huddle on benches outside the rooms. In the small kitchen, the staff are serving hot soup, beans and fish. A homeless man is enjoying his soup in the corner, while two others stand in line. Instead of giving away free food, it is sold at a very low price, which the homeless can afford. This policy aims to raise awareness about the value of food and promote a positive attitude towards homelessness to prevent them feeling that they are begging for whatever is provided. People's looks. The looks of people, really. Yeah. Because they look to you like you're a bit of dirt on the, dirt on the bottom of their shoe when we're not. We are hum we're all human beings at the end of the day. Sorry that we ain't got a house to go back to and things like that. But yeah, there are some drug users and some alcoholics on the streets, but we're not all the same. But me, I don't touch drugs. Don't, I've never touched drugs in my life. I don't touch drugs. Don't, I've never touched drugs in my life. Okay, I, I, it's, it's going to be hard for me to sit here and believe. That's Cat. I'm calling Cat, but okay, continue. The first step in recovery is admitting. A bright purple double-decker bus runs slowly down the road. This vehicle is not like the city's regular buses because it's been designed specifically to serve the homeless. In addition to insufficient emergency housing, a surprising number of homeless people appear willing to live close to starvation, eating meals on the roadside instead of having a full meal or sleeping in a warm shelter shared with other people. There are rules and regulations that must be followed when living in the shelter, such as specific entry and exit times to avoid disturbing others. Many people don't like this lifestyle and choose to live freely outside. More importantly, when drugs are involved, the users tend to avoid the shelters where drugs are strictly prohibited. Huge amount of people, because of the stress and strains that they face, and um, taking drugs and um, uh, uh, alcohol abuse, which adds pressure to families, and sometimes pa families really don't know how to cope with that. And so the only way very often they can cope is by, you know, putting their family member out because it's disrupting the home for whole family. When the homeless people don't come to seek help at the shelter, the Purple Bus provides a mobile assistance service. Oh, this is, this is, bus this, is a good platform like to, to engage with. I've seen these, but like the van versions. Salvation Army, okay. If people, not as an institution. So it is a public space because we are bringing the service to the service users and the rough sleepers who normally wouldn't engage with the institution. Uh, so it's, you know, they can jump on uh, and jump out of the bus as they pleased and they will still get the support as much as they would like us to support them with. A warm drink on a cold day, a piece of soft bread and freshly baked pastries, along with the smiles and hospitality of the staff, create a sense of refuge. Exactly, you know, homeless people who are transient, who are chaotic, uh, who have issues, they, they don't want bureaucracy, they want a simple process that would help them initially to get off the streets. It's as simple as that. And unfortunately, we provide this. We, we've got a very simple approach to, to, to helping people. We listen to their needs and address what they need us to address initially. And from then on, they, they move on. It's their decision. In addition to food, the inside of the bus is arranged like a small lounge or waiting room, where the homeless can take a temporary but welcome rest. There's even a washing machine ready to be of service to anyone who needs to wash clothes. When the bus is parked, volunteers prepare drinks and snacks to distribute to the homeless. While people wait to receive food, staff will engage in conversation to build trust, which may eventually lead to further assistance being provided. This young woman left her home at the age of 18 due to domestic violence. After 10 years of living on the streets and relying on this bus for sustenance, she was finally granted permanent housing assistance from the government. Now you have the flat. Yeah, yeah. 
What's your plan from now? Um, just moving on with my life, really, getting a job. Um, just making myself proud, looking forward, don't, not looking back. So, yeah. What are you a do job? Um, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to say a job, daily income, and like something to wake up for in the morning, go out to work, come home. Just that, just routine, normality. Nice, nice company, really. They are, they're amazing people, amazing people. They've got hearts of gold. So, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing what they do. You amazing. Yeah, yeah, basically. Basically, yeah. If you want to see more great content from it? all over the world, please like the video. Oh, why would they do that? The what? issue of homelessness in England is becoming increasingly serious. Real estate prices in London continue to rise in a city which is already one of the most expensive in which to live in the world. Meanwhile, the income of ordinary people and social welfare benefits have not kept pace. Moreover, the availability of affordable housing for low-income people has decreased and the organisations which provide accommodation are facing budget cuts. The policy of reducing housing welfare payments for people aged 18 to 25 has resulted in rising numbers of new homeless, especially among the young and female population. Individually, they have stories of facing domestic violence, experiencing failures in life, struggling with drug problems and dealing with other personal challenges. I don't, really, I don't know. I don't know why there's more homeless women now than there was back then. Uh, we see regular females that decided to, to, to be street homeless, uh, or new females, but uh, they help, they want to they wanna get move on from, from street homelessness and find accommodation relatively quickly, so they're more motivated because they recognise themselves as, as more vulnerable on the streets. Uh, than men would feel. But obviously things like substance misuse is a major issue amongst young people. Mm -hmm. If I was homeless, I feel vulnerable as a man. Shoot. I'm vulnerable out here. It would have been me and G-Lock, but still. People. Um, but also we're seeing a lot of people who have never really had the opportunity to have a settled life. So they've been looked after by the local authority, perhaps. We have people who have been abuse victims as children. Um, and so very often people just haven't had that stability that we all need when we're growing up. Sociologists have discovered that the number of homeless people varies based on urban development. The more developed a city becomes, the greater the number of homeless tends to be. The rapid increase in the homeless population has driven the British government to allocate a budget exceeding a billion pounds to tackle this issue. Nevertheless, Simply offering shelters and distributing food will not resolve the problem of homelessness. It is a complex problem, on the streets and in the shadows. There are those who have both unwillingly and intentionally become homeless. I love you, yes I do, oh I'm gonna spend all my money on you. Every day when you say that I'm not gonna take any more. Whoa, 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 whoa. 10 out of a 10 going on the Spotify playlist. This is dramatic. That's it. All right. Tell them leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Let me know what you think of this entire situation. No, I'm just playing. Let me know what you think, man. Is this cap?